What's good, everybody? Glitch Bros. Wayne through here. Hey, man, real quick before we get into the reaction, I just want to ask y'all's personal opinion. Right here, what y'all guys are seeing on the right of the screen is two thumbnails. My Las Vegas vacation vlog is almost complete. By the time y'all guys are watching this, it most likely already is complete. It is coming out August 12th, but I need your help. I just want to ask, what is your personal opinion? Which uh, thumbnail on the right over here looks better? Top one or bottom one? Bottom one, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to be asking all day. I really appreciate the support. And now let's get into the video. What's good, everybody? Glitch Road 23 here. Hey, man, we got some more E40 today, man. Like I said in the last E40 reaction, these are some of the these this track and the next track along with the previous track yesterday's track that I reacted to and these two tracks that you're getting today were all originally planned for the original E40 grinded reactions we had unfortunately because of copyright claims with the music videos I didn't want to take that chance so I asked you guys personally what would y'all rather see explicit lyrics or music video reactions y'all chose explicit lyrics so now we got the explicit lyrics for One Love E40 featuring forgot the name of the artist who is featured on here if you give me a quick second I can actually tell you though featuring Levetti you know and what I'm starting to notice like y'all guys this the In A Major Way and the, the Hall of Game album, y'all guys seem to really enjoy for some reason. You know, I don't know if those are E-40's best albums in his discography or whatever, but this is like already the fourth track I think we reacted to from the In Major Way album. So, if you guys want more from E-40 though, y'all know what to do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe channel if you're new, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts on the reaction, the track, the album in general. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, uh, but other than that, let's just go ahead and get on into it. One Love, another pretty decent, like, long track. Remember, this was like the 80s or 90s, though, so that's when hip-hop was in the golden age. More likely the 90s I have a and collect 80s. call from... Hi, this is your partner, man. Who is an inmate in a California state prison. To deny charges, hang up now. To accept charges, press 5 now. Let it come back home. I saw how long this track was, and I was like, you know what? I'm finna use the restroom before we really get into it. So let's make sure the recording has it stopped. And then, well, for real, let's. Three minutes in the video, let's get into it for real. Wait, he said L-O-V. The name of the song is One Love with a U. Some, either the title's wrong or E-40 didn't know how he's spelling love on this track already. <laughs> That's tough. It's the A, the A, the A. Oh no, he was actually spelling love. Right Remember that gang fat bank take skinny bank? Skinny well now bank. we play skinny bank take fat bank. That's Ooh. because it ain't no work being offered, man. No work. Being they act like they ain't even thinking about us, man. I promise I swear to popo through my homie and a slam. Didn't that? Wish I had my cam camera. Made me mad. Penelope swarming like these. Surveillance binoculars hitting the trees. Reliable sources copping keys. Oh, oh, please. One for the life and two for death. Three damn strikes, no chances left. One for the life, two for the death. Three, three strikes and there ain't none left. He already talked about his homie being locked up in the cell. Come on, man. That's tough. That's tough. This one for the homies, ain't it? This this one for the the true ones. I see you, 40. I see you. Three damn strikes, no chances left. Let me tell you a little about me. E40 in the seal, I say. We used to have to use sheets for curtains, socks for wash towels. I was happy as hell when my cousin gave me his hand me downs. This ain't no happy, surely temple fellistic crap. This here is serious, more realistic than real. Shack observe as I strike a nerve. Reach out and touch my kind. Open up your photo album, man, and I bet you find folks that passed away. Partners that been blasted away. I miss you. Spill some liquor, man. Who got some tissue? 
he opened up the photo album he saw some who passed away some who were blasted away it's one of those tracks it's one of those man always have sympathy for these tracks whether they're good or bad because it's personal for the artists like they've been through this you know like I don't get how you can't feel some type of emotion when you listen to these tracks where the artists are like putting their cards all out on the table for us you know they're they're telling us everything about their life growing up and their struggles you know and what they've seen so, I, don't, I just don't get how some people don't, in a way, feel tracks like this. I just don't. Like I feel like it's a female who is the feature. Where is it? Lavetti. I like her. If it's her singing in the background, the female vocalist, I like her singing right here. I think it's a nice touch. <laughs> Everybody wanna shoot them up, bang bang. Where I was raised, we had to knuckle up and throw them bangs. We got them up, and you know I had to check them swell. Cause if I ran home and didn't fight back, my mama be dead jail. Just received work from my folks. He said, if I didn't fight, fight back and ran home, my mom wanted to beat my tail. Some parents really were like that back in the day, man. And the rule, one of the rules back then, never start a fight, but you better finish it. That's all, that was one of the rules back then, you know? So, <laughs> you get a whooping for not whooping somebody's, come on, man. Sorry about that, y'all. I thought I heard something. And uh, no more beef and pork, just Muslim books and fish. Walking laps around the yard with my walkman bumping this. Now I'm about to get married. Ain't nobody, bro. I even know what a walkman is. Do y'all know? E40 fans definitely, but for those who are like, for those who are like, born after the year 2000. Y'all know what a Walkman is? I, I bet y'all don't. I bet y'all don't. Is it clever? Thought it was till I got the dear John letter. Been down for 10 bucks and got an eight year stay. And I just found out she had her baby yesterday. Yesterday. Ain't Damn. nobody been to see me yet, but I ain't gonna wear it. Man, y'all there falling, man. Can you drop a twop on my commissary? Uh, my family thinks that I'm a thug, homie. When you see my mama, man, give her a hug for me and tell her. track in particular gives me real Tupac vibes because not only the instrumental and the message of the track but like the use of the female vocalist in the background it's giving me real like Tupac like vibes from like either be against the world or like or life goes on like life goes on is probably one of my favorite Pac tracks from all eyes on me probably one of my favorite tracks. I think it's I think it's in my top ten two block tracks, you know? So this is really it's it's a great feeling when you hear like when I hear when I'm listening to this I think of Pac and like th this makes me happy. This really does. It's emotional. It's rela it's relatable to I think most people. Um it's it's uplifting in a way, but it also it gets you on your feelings, you know? So I I'm, I'm I'm messing with this one heavy. I, like on, dude, honestly, E40, like we've heard a lot of rappers like from the 90s. E40 is really like interesting me the most. Like I genuinely added track when we did the ground reactions, I genuinely added like a few tracks from those reactions and this may be another one. Heck, even the last reaction may be another one. The one with too short. So 
I'm messing with E. I'm 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 gonna ride with E40 as long as y'all guys want me to. I I just need your support and just share this with more people. You know, that's all I ask. Thinking back, you gotta watch your back and play it well. Play it Enjoyed well. myself when I was out there shrine and getting that mail. We used to kick it at the waterfront to Hover Lale. Watching the perfect contests between E40 and Dale. That's what we did up under the bridge. Foods posted up, post chopping game, conversating, getting tossed up. Leaning Stop. against my zenith, convertible tops and boots to clean us. Them click boys, mobbing deep in cuts, acting mean. The good times, they gone. Here in the can is my new bone. Yes, in order to do some right, I had to do some wrong. Pick up a packet. In order to do some right, I had to do some wrong. He said him and his boys used to chill with the Valero spitting game. You know, but hard times call for hard measures. Like, difficult times call for very difficult measures, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. So, I, I just like how honest E40 really is with us. Like, and you know what? At first, I really did think he was like a street dude, but it seems like he's just like... He has to act that way. He has to be hard, you know. But in, in, deep inside, he's he seems like a really nice guy. He seems like a good guy, you know. And he's admitted his wrongs like almost every track, or admitted where he's come from, and how he's still humble to this day. So, a lot of respect for E40 just as a person, not as a rapper, but just as a person. Since yesterday and I was happy It was a boxy full of goodies from my pappy Trip me out, ain't seen or heard from partner do in years Sent me a picture and some petty dang that shed a tears huh. See fresh your bone, then you live, then you die, then you die. One day soon I get another try One love track man that was just absolutely beautiful in my opinion man man E40 really finna become another artist who I listen to because of these reactions like y'all don't understand there be a lot of I was very limited on artists who I listened to before the reactions like and this is why I love them no matter who I do like who I react to like I gain respect for them, and I see, swear to God, man, they, my dad has me do these stupid things, the worst times, anyway, what I was saying earlier, it just, like, listen to these, like, old schoolers, it makes me appreciate the craft, the penmanship, the rappers as a person, or just as a lyricist in general, so, I'm, I'm always gonna... I'm always gonna rock with the old school like hip hop, you know. And like I said, as long as y'all want me to keep reacting to old school artists, I'ma do it, man. All I ask in return is just to like, subscribe, and share this with more people, man. And then keep up the suggestions. But this was a beautiful track. This really was. <laughs> beautiful track from the man himself e40 man y'all let me know what y'all guys thought about that if you guys enjoyed be sure to hit the like button subscribe channel if you're new comment down below what you guys want to see see next share those more e40 fans man like like i said man like i said all i ask is y'all just keep showing love and support on these videos and i'll keep doing them and also i really appreciate if y'all guys give your honest opinion on which thumbnail 
that I should pick for the Las Vegas vacation. Even if you don't watch the video, I would just like your honest opinion on which thumbnail looks better. But other than that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.